pandemic, the Portland School District reached a tentative agreement with its teachers union to return to in person instruction. That means elementary kids in the state's largest district will go back into the classrooms April 1st. Our Lisa Balick has been following this. Uh, she joins us live in Southeast Portland with whether this is a done deal. Lisa. Well, teachers do have to vote on this. It's a tentative agreement. They will vote later this week, but it lays out the guidelines for hybrid learning to start within just a few weeks, especially for those elementary kids. Now, the agreement has preschool and first grade kids going back into classrooms Thursday, April 1st. Grades 2 through 5 would be Monday, April 5th. Now, middle and high school students will start April 19th. A hybrid model, again, meaning half in person, half online, but still students can choose to stay with all online learning for the rest of the year if they want to. Now, we don't have a lot of details of what's in the agreement until teachers have a look. I asked the superintendent of schools today, though, if back to in-person classes will mean back to teaching academic subjects in those classrooms, not just time for group activities and social interaction. He says students will get direct academic instruction from their teachers. If you have a third grade class and uh, half the kids are coming in in the morning and they're being taught live by their teacher, uh, though that group of students goes home, has their lunch, and then they log on and they get their specials uh, uh, instruction, for example, from the art or the music or the library teacher and a combination of some asynchronous lessons. The afternoon kids who are in the class but chose not to come in for in person, they'll have the benefit of direct instruction from the homeroom teacher in the afternoon. Now, the superintendent also told me school principals will be sending families information about class details in the next few days. Now, the Portland School Board and the Teachers Union both have to vote on this agreement, but we're told that they are both expected to sign off on it and school will move forward in just a few weeks back into the classroom buildings. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.